Um, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. About three years ago, somewhere about this time, a fellow walked into the bar and he had him a guitar. Guy walks into a bar. Guy walks into the bar. We've heard this joke before. And the song. And uh, he said his name is Rick. Said he had a couple of songs he, he, he wanted to play, and although I didn't think he looked real nervous, he tells me he was really, really nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> he still says he was pretty nervous. And uh, he played his three songs, and you know, I actually, my memory is really, really pretty poor about these things. My hard drive fills up really quickly. Um, but in any case, this is Mr. Rick Barr right here. Give him a big hand. And, uh, and I, and I remember saying something like, you know, wow, these are great songs. They were his own songs. I don't know if you sang your own songs or covers. A couple of them, yeah. But eventually I got to know that uh, he was a songwriter as well and written his own song material. And I said, dude, you gotta, you gotta do this more. You gotta come back. And you gotta get a better guitar, man, if you're gonna do this. Get your guitar you can plug in and, and, and make it your tool and go out and make it your, uh, make it your life, man. Do this music because it's something that you definitely have a talent for. And he said, Tom, you're full of shit. <laughs> wow, he got you on the first go. And he said, you're full of crap. I just wanted to have a beer, play a few tunes, it was all about. But then he came back. He came back and he did it again, and he came back and he did it again. And uh, I even had him playing bass at one point. He was playing bass guitar up on stage. And then eventually I had him in front of the band. The band behind him played a couple of his tunes. And I think every time he came up on stage, it sort of convinced them a little more and more and more that, you know, maybe uh, maybe this is something that he should uh, he should take on as, uh, as something in his life to to expand his music and expand uh, his talent and creativity. And, and certainly he's, he's done that because since then, he tells me, because he keeps track of this stuff for all of you that know him, <laughs> he's done this like your 200 and... <laughs> 41st yeah. show? Yes. 40, 241st time on stage. 241st time on stage. <laughs> Gotta keep track. Right? And, <laughs> and you've done 170 something shows? <laughs> open mics? Okay. And th those are just open mics. Then you've got your, the actual shows that you've done. Right. That uh, <laughs> where they actually pay the money to play his music, and that's what it's all about. That's kind of the ultimate uh, appreciation is when a venue says, "Come on back, play your music, entertain our customers, and we'll even pay you a little bit of money." Troops. And so uh, he's done that. And I have to say, Rick, not only am I proud of you, I'm damn jealous because you have done an incredible Woo! job. And he's gone <laughs> just uh, fabulous. He's got a lot of friends in the music business here in, in this town, and a lot of respect. I mean, he. A lot of respect amongst the, the people that you've played with and that have heard you play. Eek, and um, <laughs> He has. No, no. No, it really has. Well, we're about to lose it now. So. And so now he's going to throw it all away. <laughs> That's what I was going to throw it all away. So he turns 40 years old sometime earlier this year. 40? Well, fuck you. And, and I'm like, yeah, is that all? Is that the That's best you could do is 40? And his friends start saying, you know, we were... You should be uh, like uh, start knocking things off your bucket list. You're getting old, or maybe you come up with that idea. I don't know. Come up with that idea. And since then, he's been jumping out of airplanes and eating funny things and singing silly songs and doing all kinds of crazy shit, push-ups and crap like that. So now, not only is he, you know, one of the famous solo musicians, now he's like all buffed up, super Rick, and uh, he's built himself quite a brand and quite a following. And uh, you know you really do look sexy in the tights, by the way. So I think I'm going to let you explain this one because I don't really even know what to say uh, about this 40 year, this this challenge that he's doing tonight. Well, I'm going to let him explain. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wow, did it just get weird up here at the moment? <laughs> Rick, I have, Rick, I love you, brother. I've got to let you explain this one. You're on your own, man. I feel nauseous. <laughs> I expected that. Yeah, and that's fine. Now, actually, this is this particular challenge is the brainchild of Chris Gregory back there and our host, T. Core Tom. It was a few months ago. Uh, they actually wanted me to perform in my underwear. Nobody was really comfortable with that. But then my sister Kelly said, well, how about doing it in a dress? And I felt great. That was just such a great idea. 
And so not only did I take her idea, I took her dress. This is, what, from 20 years ago? So I'm performing in my little sister's dress. And it fits wonderfully, I must admit. That's, you that's heard that. Hot. That is pretty damn sexy. Thank you. So, yeah, this is it. And, and to complete the challenge, I, I just have to play a few songs, but I'm going to play you know, for about 20 minutes or so. And you're donating to who? Well, that's right. You see, the, the point of these challenges, too, is to have fun and be weird, but I'm also donating to charity every time I complete one. So tomorrow I'll be donating to the Breast Cancer Foundation. All right. Woo! It is it's definitely for a good cause. Even if I embarrass the hell out of myself and do stupid shit like eat 12,000 calories in a day. <laughs> or 10,000 push-ups in a year. 100,000. You really abused A 100,000? Yeah. Sorry, 100,000. It's like 10,000 a month, right? Yeah, exactly. Something around that. Yeah. So anyway, I'm glad to be here. And again, T4 Tom, he is really responsible for me. Oh, don't being, blame it on me. Man. Not for the stress. <laughs> for, for being up on stage and, and doing all that I've done the last three years. It's, it all started here, and he's been a great guy, a great friend. Yay. Tom's always been very supportive. <laughs> Congratulations to you on all the shows and all the success that you had so far. So, we've got to follow through on this. You actually have to sing some songs, which yeah. is probably the easy part. I'm still hotter than shit. He took his thing off there. All right, we'll try. All right, let's get this thing going. Woohoo! in a cloak down in Soho where you drink champagne and it tastes just like cherry cola C-O-L-A cola She walked up to me and she asked me to dance I asked her her name and in a bathroom voice she said Lola L-O-L-A Lola La 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 Lola But when she squeezed me tight, she nearly broke my spine Oh, my Lola, la 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 I'm not dumb, but I can't understand why she walked like a woman But talked like a man, oh, my Lola, la 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 Well, we drank champagne Love and 
1844 beneath my head. Got up next morning and I grabbed my gun. Took a shot of cocaine and away I went. Made a good run, but I ran too slow. They overtook me down in Juarez, Mexico. Dirty hack that shot your woman down. See, so yes, my name is Reed. If you got the ball, then just don't read it to me. Shot her down because she made me sore. I thought I was a daddy, but she had five more. Dried up carcass in that county jail. Early this morning, I spied the sheriff coming down the line. I and he coughed and he cleared his throat. He said, Come on, you dirty hack into that district court. Judge commenced to look about. About five minutes in, walked a man, holding the verdict in his right hand. Verdict read murder in the first degree. I hollered, Lordy, Lordy, have a mercy on me. The judge he smiled as he picked up his pen. Ninety-nine years in the force of men. Forget the day I shot that bad bitch down. Come on, you gotta listen to me. Lay off that whiskey and let that cocaine be. Yeah! Here we go. Thank you. I'm gonna try to sing only manly songs from now on. <laughs> Well, I usually do start all my shows out with a certain song that everybody knows, and, but I had to start with Lola, obviously. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the Pittsville Blues. <laughs>
Thank you.